Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna with me, Harry Simu. As always, um, post-match reaction to the disappointing, def uh, I almost said defeat because it felt like one, the disappointing draw against Southampton at the Emirates Stadium. And to put it simply, Unai Emery has to go. This is the board's t uh, time to show us that they actually give a shit about what is going on at this football club. The performances are dire. The results are not good enough. There is so much wrong at Arsenal at the moment. The players look as though they're not playing for him. They're not fighting for him. It's just simply not good enough. And, and when I look at Unai Emery's reign at Arsenal, I find it very hard to think of a single reason as to why Arsenal should keep him on at the moment. The, the, the style of play has been completely sacrificed. And you probably don't mind that if you get the results. But we're not even getting the results. We're not getting the defensive stability that he keeps banging on about. He keeps saying that we've been better defensively. I just don't see it. I really don't see it. Um, disappointment is very quickly turning into anger amongst the Arsenal fans. And it's only going to get worse. So, you know, the hope is that Raul and Edu and all the rest of them upstairs... We'll use their brains and, and make the change because, you know, I'm not necessarily saying we're going to go and get a top manager mid-season. Even if you install Freddie Lundberg, for example, as a caretaker manager, I think that will be better than what we're currently dealing with. Do I think Freddie Lundberg is a better manager than Unai Emery? It's silly to say that because he's not really, you know, had that exposure. He's never had a, a job at the top level. So to say that would be stupid, but I think there would be a, an uplift just by making the change. And that's where we're at at the moment. That's where we find ourselves. You know, it's really, really disappointing. Um, the crowds are getting smaller and smaller. There were chants about Unai Emery today. We scored a 96th minute equaliser and nobody was even enthused by it. I'm sure there were people thinking that equaliser might have kept Emery in the job for a little bit longer. And that's that's a negative at the minute. And, and that's, that's the state that we've reached at the moment. That is the state of affairs at Arsenal Football Club. And you know, I hope that we hear, you know, tomorrow or Monday that he's been given the boot. But I, I don't see it happening, unfortunately, because I think they've put so much backing into this project. And they keep talking about the Unai Emery project that they, they probably don't want to go back on their word at this point. But that is not the right thing for this football club. And if you look at Southampton, they were really, really unfortunate today. I thought that, you know, they could have scored four or five. Hasenhutl said that in his post-match press conference. And he wasn't far off the mark. In my opinion, he was absolutely spot on. He had a right to say that. Um, but, you know, Harzen, who tours a manager who's had a difficult time of late, Southampton are languishing down at the bottom of the table. But when you look at their performances at the Etihad a few weeks ago, where they lost 2-1, and their performance today at the Emirates, you can see why they want to stick with him and why they want to give him that little bit longer. And that's my issue. At Arsenal, I don't see that. There, I don't see a single thing that is worthwhile um, keeping Unai Emery for. And, and that that's the reality. I'm going to be, of course, bringing you a podcast on Monday where we'll be dissecting the game in a lot more detail. Um, I'll be joined by a guest. We'll be looking at the ins and outs and we'll be talking about uh, various aspects of, of that disappointing uh, draw today. Uh, but that's just a quick uh, post-match reaction video. Really disappointed. Unai Emery has to be sacked. And now, the sooner the better. It's time to give him the boot. It's time for him to go. And, um, you know, the toxicity that surrounded the club towards the end of Arsene Wenger's days feels like it's creeping back in again. And that's a negative sign for me. So it's time that we get him out of the door.